What's up, folks? Alex here. So today, for no particular reason, I decided to grossly abuse Rust's type system, right? And in order to do that, I decided that it would have been fun to uh, define a set of um, piano numbers as purely as a uh, type level construct in Rust, right? And then, like, when we finish with uh, defining the numbers themselves, we should be able to define a bunch of uh, basic operations on those, right? Like addition, multiplication, and also like comparison. And, you know, maybe, maybe have fun with that. So how about that? Right, so according to uh, Piano, right? A natural number is either a zero, right? Or some kind of successor of a natural natural number, right? So like phantom, yeah, phantom this, right? So allow that code, right? And having that uh, definition should be pretty straight. It should be should be self evident that you know we can actually uh, generate all the uh, natural numbers out of it, right? So something like type type one is a successor of one type. Two is a successor of one, type three is a successor of two, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, I also will be interested in the notion of kind of sameness or equality, right? And uh, I also need that to be a type level construct, right? So, struct same, you know, a, b, um, phantom this, and the way that's supposed to work is something like this. So imagine we have this, that something is the same of uh, zero and zero, right? So I want somehow, you know, encode this sameness construct so that um, the Rust type checker can actually like, check if uh, zero is the same as zero here. So basically I want that to kind of be okay, right? On a type checker level, right? Or maybe like successor of uh, zero, successor of zero is also okay. But then let's say zero and one, and I don't really need that, right? So I'll do that. Right, so zero and one, uh, this should fail, right? And as you can see, currently it's not failing. And it's not failing because uh, the type checker has no idea what we are building here. So let's extend this a little bit. So where A is a number, B is a number, and A and B is the same number, right? So we are missing this number trait and same number trait. So trait number, and this is, yeah, and this is basically like an empty trait, right? So uh, impl number for zero and impl number for successor t, t and t is supposed to be a number as well, right? So, right? And we are also missing the trait same number. So trait same number, so same number for tt, right, where t is a number. So now, as you can see, uh, we, you know, one step closer to our dream, right? So it says same zero zero is okay, same successor zero and one is also okay, uh, I would say one one, why not? And zero and one is not the same because like zero and successor zero do not like that couple, right? Over there does not implement same number uh, trait, right? So here. And yeah, so that would have been pretty much it if we were not thinking about, um, you know, adding the, uh, you know, basic operations to our uh, implementation, right? Something like add and multiplication right so like what if what if i need to like do that right so add a and b 
and then uh, like phantom this, right? And what if I said that I kind of need this, right? So it's like one and one, and this is maybe like two, right? So I really want that to be okay. So this could be okay, but it's not, right? And the reason why it's not is kind of illegal, right? So it says, well, this add successor zero to successor zero. So basically like one plus one, this whole thing is not a number. And of course it's not a number because only zero and successor zero and successor of a number is a number basically, right? So that would mean that this notion of sameness is actually no good, right? So this notion of sameness should be extended to support computation, right? So let's say like instead of number, we'll do something like normal form, right? And like same normal form. And we'll see how it works. So what is normal form? So in our implementation, normal form will be an interface that takes a type and kind of you know massages it into a number basically right so let's define this trait so trait number trait numbers okay so trait normal form it's also a um kind of marker trait right and impl normal form for zero but actually no it's not just a marker trait so we'll be needing some kind of you know associate type right here so for example normal form for zero should be type normal form zero so basically that would mean that for a type zero which is a number when we normalize that type which is zero we should we should get this zero back right so the ultimate result of kind of reduction the zero to the number is zero right and let's implement normal form for successor t, right? So that should be t normal form, right? Right, so let's implement trait same normal form and import same normal form for two types a and b right a normal form and b is also a normal form right where like a um normal form and b normal form implement this good old same number trait right and now uh Yes, so this thing still fails, but this uh, these guys still work. Um, and let's see. So in order in order to make this work, we actually need to implement the normalization procedure for the add expression, right? So it actually actually asks for uh, that add sucks like add one plus one to implement this normal form trait is not implemented just yet. So what would be um, an implementation of normal form for addition, right? Uh, let's see. So let's call it this, 0b. So when you add a 0 to some kind of value b, the ultimate result that you expect back should be b normal form, right? And yeah, so this should be B. And then for A normal form, so successor A B. We expect that to be successor at A B and like as normal form. Oops. Um like this, like this. Yeah, and it says it wants 
where adds a b normal form as well fine and would you look at that right so now the system actually understands that when you add one plus one you can actually get two out of it and let's say you know um i'm so stupid that i don't know that so like what if i said like add one to one is one again and it says no like successor successor of uh, zero is not the same as successor zero so now we kind of leveraged the type checker to actually perform the computation and check if like that computation is correct if like one plus one is actually two right and it will fail in compile time if it's not right so let's use the same pattern and implement the multiplication operation so multiplication and like impl uh, in normal form yeah so when you multiply zero by something you should probably get zero back right and then uh impl uh, like a normal form b normal form multiplication of successor of a to b you should get this back right so add usually it's written like this so i'm not sure okay and let's do this so who 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 so this whole thing should be a normal form right and this right so let's give it a try so let's say multiplication of two and two uh three and like four right so when you multiply two by two you should get four back and in fact you do right so yeah looks like the multiplication and uh, addition both work just fine right so let's uh maybe implement something more elaborate a little bit let's do Struct factorial of uh, t, right? And again, phantom. And let's implement a normal form for factorial uh, zero, right? So factorial of zero, we'll just define it to be uh, the parameter t is not constrained. Uh, factor yeah, 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 yeah. We don't need that. So, uh, factorial of zero should be just one, and impl uh, normal form for factorial successor of t. Let's see, multiply successor t to factorial of t and get a normal form out of it. That looks fine, but I bet there will be a bunch of problems with that so as normal form right but then it says you know where uh this is a normal form let's say where factorial of t is normal form right but i would say as normal form, normal form, like this, like this, and I want like this whole thing uh, to implement the normal form as well, right? And there you have it. So now we have this factorial implementation using our uh, type level piano numbers right so let's go ahead and prove that yeah let's go ahead and prove that uh like factorial of um four is 24. let's prove that 
So type five successor of four, type six successor of five, then successor of six, type eight successor of seven, nine, and I'm doing this because I will be needing to get it all the way up to ten, right? So factorial of four, so let's Right, so factorial of uh, four is it the same as multiplication of um, like two and ten, and we'll add four to that. Like, is it true that these are the same? And as you can probably say, and you, as you can probably tell, the compiler is happy about it. See? So factorial of 4 is exactly the same as 2 times 10, which is 20, plus 4, which is 24. And if I did something like 3 here instead, it would give me a huge error message, right? So it's successor of successor of successor, blah, blah, blah. And the other thing, uh, they both do not implement same normal form and yeah so there you have it folks actually um to recap right we've implemented a set of uh piano numbers we uh dug a little bit into the notion of uh normal forms right so this is kind of an you know a final um final destination in the normalization graph uh it's usually like defined by that but you can think of it as a kind of um you know to which number that particular expression normalizes to right so a particular number should be equal to its normal form but when you have some kind of uh, operation, you know, some kind of expression, maybe like one plus two, this on itself is not a normal form, but it can be reduced to the normal form. And the normal form for one plus two is just a number of three. And having those norm normal forms, we can actually, you know, create this notion of sameness or the notion of uh, equality, right? And using this notion of equality, uh, we can, you know, basically like do a compile, um, compile time, you know, proofs that, you know, particular values or like results of particular operations equal to particular numbers. Like, of course, all that doesn't really make any sense. You know, I don't do that in production. All that just don't make much sense, right? um this is this is pure purely just a um just an exercise really you know to like exercise your understanding of uh type system and how like traits interact all that so that's basically that and uh so that's all i have for today and uh, i'll talk to you next time see you